Hello, welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, Series 2, Episode 32. Wee! <laughs> oh, it's all gone to shit. Oh, God, the, the, camera's, the camera's moving. It means Joe McGraw's here! Yeah. Apologies, apologies. I've mugged up already. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> mugged up already. Apart from, apart from knocking the camera and not having the mic in the right place. Hello. He is on form, baby! Yeah. I love it. Cameron Green's Shout also in. Back in his corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> except for me. Uh, sexy baby. It's been a while right, since anyone called me baby as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe just said sexy baby, which, uh, you know, I think should be uh, no, I would no, say, no. I would say scrutinised. But we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Um, oh, no. And, of course, in the other corner is Max Smith. Hello there. Love it. A sexy papa. There we go, yeah. Mm. And when I say the other corner, I don't mean, like, they're going to fight. You will do. Really? Eventually. One day. Who, me and you? No. Oh, no, no, I know. Max and, uh, Max and Just in the way Ooh. fathers and sons do. You yeah, know? yeah, in that horrible way. Max, Max doesn't have the malice to be a fighter. Or a father. Yeah. Mm. I don't have the strength. <laughs> the malice to be a father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a day. Just a disciplinarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all you want from your dad. <laughs> I'd shout at other people's kids, not my own. Yeah, yeah. There are people that do that famously. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cool, can we have some? <laughs> well, I, when I, it was my birthday once. Yeah. And, um... A lad who come to the party said, I want that cake. And it was my birthday cake. So um, the, my mum was like, well, him? you can't have that. It's a long story. Said, you can't have that. That's my son's birthday cake. And then he destroyed my birthday <gasps> cake. <laughs> and <laughs> his mum was like to me, why don't you just give him your birthday cake? And I was like, you have a laugh. Fuck off. We went to Brewster Burr and I had a scrap with him and his mum told me off, but he was like pulling my hair. Brewster Burr was like, I want your hair. What's I'm Brewster like, Bear? No. Brewster Bear. Did that. Brewster Bear. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it Joe in a suit? <laughs> You know, Give Bruce me your hair. You've been to Bruce Bruce the Bear, Bear, surely. Yeah, yeah. yeah it must a wacky be. warehouse. Is there a North West thing? A Bre- yeah, yeah. They're like a Chuck E. Cheese sort of. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, you can make your own ice cream, you know, you pick the top. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. It, it, the machine yeah. never worked. That's yeah, yeah. true enough, yeah. yeah. Well, like I a, just want plain ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I just had a bowl of sprinkles. <laughs> Thank you to that one. That's all the cake was. Yeah. A bowl of sprinkles. <laughs> and this poor get didn't have any ice cream. He'd come for one thing. <laughs> what I would have done there uh, as a kid, uh, next birthday, or maybe throw a, a fake celebration in the name of myself, mm. I would have got a fake cake. Yeah. Maybe the classic balloon one with icing on. Oh, yeah. Or just a dog shit cake. And then I've gone, you know what, you can have you can have dibs on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smash his face into it and go, enjoy your pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're going hungry because you thought, I'll have some ice cream at least if I have no cake. <laughs> <laughs> Sat under the machine. Curse you, God! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if I'm going like that. <laughs> Brewster! <laughs> Enjoy your pink eye. Bruce has just stood there. <laughs> Get a bit closer. <laughs> no, I'll give you the it. cream on that. It is ice cream, I promise you. <laughs> it's well. Joseph. Hello. What have you been up to? Uh, I've been... Um, I went to a black pudding throwing competition, which was very weird, in Ram's Bottom. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> Poor so, Ram. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard telling stories, isn't it? <laughs> so it was like... The microphone, it, Sorry, it was like... It was... <laughs> This guy, the, the event was based because it's in a place where Yorkshire and Lancashire used to meet and they used to always fight. So they decided to come up with a competition to stop them fighting. So they had to be a bit weird. It couldn't be like football because it probably would kick off then, wouldn't yeah. they? So they came up with... Naturally. Lobbing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. lobbing black puddings and seeing if you can hit Yorkshire puddings off, off a railing. But it's yeah. harder than it looks because the black pudding's quite weighty yeah. and then you've got to try and knock Yorkshire puddings off. There's 12 up there, but no one's ever got all 12. Wow. Rumours are there was an 11 in 2004. <gasps> That's then, a rumour. That was a rumour as well. <laughs> wow. Tales tell. How many did you get? I got none. None. I couldn't. I couldn't hit it. Don't don't show your face on this great show when you get zero in the black pudding Ramsbottom competition. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ramsbottom is a nice place. Is it? It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. What happens to the black puddings after they've been? I chucked? think they cook them all in a big pot. They, they release they, the they orphans the into the field to eat. Well, they've been all over the floor. Get no, in because, the gutter. What, what you, they, they, they're black puddings, but they're in like a little case. So they make it like uh, it, it was very big for them this year to make it out like no, nothing was going to go to waste. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was like a recipe of what they were going to cook. And apparently next year they're going to use. The the vegetarian ones, you know, so it's... Oh, like, yeah, so... Not a big part of the... Just 
pig's heads Don't on the you side. just wish vegetarians would get their own, you know, yeah, animal entrail meals? Well, they do. They have the cheese, cheese, cheese rolling. rolling. Cheese rolling, Which yeah. we could all go to. That's then, in May next remember, year. Tom goes there every year and just protests by, uh, <laughs> yeah. by, I don't know what he does, to be fair. We got told about other stuff. So the cheese rolling's one. Yeah. Well, in May 2022, uh, near Preston, is a uh, gravy wrestling championships. So is so that like mud, like oil wrestling? Oil wrestling, but in gravy. Yeah. It's wow. just Sundays at gravy. the car. Calvary and St. Helens. <laughs> There's hardly any fucking left. I've only got shed full of them. Fuck off, Donny. Just it. throwing a black pudding at her head. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Weapon. Yeah, it's incredible. Fatality. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I might get practicing for that. Training. The microphone. The training for that. Might get training for that. To wrestling gravy. Well. Wrestling gravy. So it's like mud wrestling, but cold bisto, I guess. Yeah. And then. Um, <laughs> Boiling hot bisto. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> it's the element of danger. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I might come up with a good gravy based name. Yeah. Cold Bist. Bist Joe. Yeah. Bist Joe. Yeah. Like yeah. Bist Joe. Bist Joe. Thank you. Yeah. Fist Joe. Um, Fist Joe. Nice. Fist Fist Joe. Joe. Fisto Bisto. There you go. <laughs> Break all the rules. Yeah. Fi- Fish Joe is a bit. <laughs> I don't know. There's appetizing <laughs> and then there's. Mm, yeah. Fish Joe. <laughs> You've done a lot because the last time I saw you, you were sweating over a camera yeah, in Stephen's yeah. house. Yeah, they're, they're, no, no, he's been interrogated. <laughs> <laughs> Panorama. Um, I really need to sort. What are you doing sort. in a Ram's bottom? <laughs> uh, I really need to sort myself out there, don't I? Yeah. I was, a, I was a, I was a state for all recordings. Incredible. I came over back to Becky, going, "You stink!" I'm like. I was like, what are you even doing? Could have, could have been our cooking. He's, <laughs> he's got Bisto dripping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain to her that holding a camera is hard, but it's not hard, but no, it, yeah. it, it's yeah. there for like a couple of hours. Yeah. And then and then the one bit of Tom's, which is well had, is when, uh, no, Tom's not, episode's not out yet. Will it be out yet? It'll be yeah. out by now. Yeah. Yeah. Is the bingo was going to go on for a bit longer than I thought Fucking it was going to be. Hell. And I was there sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Full, they're gonna do full house, and I was like, "Please don't do full house." I could just feel like the drips just sweat in my eyes. Oh, it was awful, awful business. Um, you said you, you're doing a festival this weekend. Yeah, uh, the Wing Festival is that right? Chicky, yeah, Chicky Wing Festival. Wow. Chicky Wing Festival. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be throwing wings at uh, Yorkshire no, puddings. No, they have the lava eating contest. La- so a guy, oh, a guy from America comes, um, and he. No way. Gonna eat that. He's, he's really it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> I used to work at Brewster Bears. <laughs> would be a turn out for the box of riches, didn't it? Uh, but he's it would. Man- it would, to be fair. It would to the man. <laughs> I'm here with Brian. <laughs> Today I'm a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> what they call it? he's called Doctor not Doctor the Mike Pepper. Joe. He's called Doctor uh, Doctor Smokehouse. Right, and he okay. creates Bloody this lava. Hell. St John's ambulance are there, and they've got like Beef. you know. But I, I've got a video I could probably show you where a guy who was a rugby player and he's just dead adamant that he was going to win. And yeah. um, I've never seen a man look so distraught. I hate spicy stuff. We had to do that for the uh, so spill much. your guts, didn't we? Oh yeah, that really yeah. did hurt. Yeah, which really which did, one was that? Uh, I, a chili I pepper, wasn't it? Uh, Which one? That was it. Ghost chili. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it was. So. It, yeah. was and it really yeah. got that there. I used Awful. to be good with spicy stuff, and then when we did the Carolina Reaper, I, I stopped yeah. for a bit because it uh, ruined my so life. Who's your Who's your bum done it? No, it's no, not. not really. I think no. Max said other what? Did... Oh no, no, it does. Yeah, yeah. 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 I went to one in Here Rain Hill, the Spice Inn. <laughs> And I'd like a really hot fucking Jalfrazy or something. And the guy was looking over for ages going. Oh. <laughs> and I was really struggling with it. And then in the end, he turned up with a little pot of green sauce. I went, I didn't ask him to. He just stunned over me and went, poured it, drizzled it over me fucking no curry. Way. And wow. I was like, cheers. Jesus. Yeah, it was so, a really nice tea, though, like really nice. Sauce. I think he must have thought that I was nodding at him to say, come over. So I sat there like... <laughs> <laughs> God, fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm confused. What was going on what with this? Going this? Going yeah. this? <laughs> you two giving each other the eye for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr. Smokehouse with sauce. this big, <laughs> jizzy green sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you seductively eating Papa Don's <laughs> <laughs> dripping chutney down your legs. <laughs> oh. That's not the yoghurt, is it? <laughs> Got Barry White playing over the. Uh, I'll have some fella the... sweating in a bird costume in the kitchen. I'll have the Rogan Nosh, please. Oh, oh. Good to be playing food, aren't you? Yeah. I've got yeah. When you're a sexy eater like I am, Joe, <laughs> things come naturally. <laughs> and I mean men and women. Yeah. Not rams. Was that what we were on about? No. Rams yeah, rams bottoms. Yeah, 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 rams bottoms, yeah. Um, yeah. Next, what you've been up to? <laughs> Sorry to go off a rams bottom. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, well, I've um, been to the cinema a lot yeah. recently. Oh, so don't, you favorite. Dare, don't you dare try and bring back IMAX. <laughs> it's rising from the grave. <laughs> uh, so this year, it's the anniversary of so many films. Uh, so they, what, they, what anniversary? So 2001. <laughs> Fellowship. Yeah, they came yeah, yeah. 2001. Oh, do you mean like a significant anniversary? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not just 13th. <laughs> <laughs> every, every year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's come out like, yeah. Every single year, every single film is played at this one Odeon. It <laughs> takes so long to get through. Uh, so the Lord of the Rings films, they showed them over yeah, the weekend. Cool. Yeah, went, yeah, it's like nine hours <laughs> worth of film. Fuck. So good. It's all nine hours. Well, no, it's split over three oh, days. So you, know. you went, you went for three days. Yeah. Did yeah. you check? Did you, uh, did you sneak any snacks in? <laughs> no. Apart from yourself. Hey, yeah, 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 thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max no. loves to suck himself off. <laughs> Yep, right in the back of the cinema. <laughs> bit, the bit of privacy. Oh, you're a bit of a prude these days. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be front and centre. <laughs> right in front of Frodo as he's putting the ring on. <laughs> Watch this, guys. <laughs> uh, I'll show you how to beat the eye of Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself in the fucking eye. Bloody hell. <laughs> um... So watch them, really good, amazing on the big screen. Smeagol, something like that. Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. Smeagol, yeah, yeah, Colin. Didn't know you were a, a ringhead. I just... <laughs> a ringhead. Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Not much coming back from that. <laughs> I'm just going to take it back to you, that, that's it. Uh, and then last night, I went to see Carrie. The, this is the 45th anniversary of Carrie. That's cool, yeah. Boris Johnson's wife. <laughs> Yeah, it is was. It? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was one of her talks. Yeah, it's that, yeah. that bit which goes into the House of Commons and starts like flinging people around with a mind. That's my favourite bit. <laughs> Carry the one where she's at the end and then something. She falls puts. On her they, 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 so. Hey? Yeah, it's the pig oh, blood. Oh yeah, no, yeah. It's the, pig, the, pig, the pig, the pig's blood. Yeah, yeah. that's tight. They heard, yeah. they heard how good the black pudding throwing. Yeah. Like, we need to do our own <laughs> shit here. From Wolverhampton, <laughs> have this, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't realise it was set in Yorkshire. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> 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 Do you reckon people ever confuse that with like a carry on film? Yeah. And when <laughs> carry on, carry on screaming. Yeah. Expecting like, uh, you yeah, know, boobs to pop out. <laughs> I think it's quite an innocent name, though, isn't it? Carry. It doesn't scream like the horror film. Well, this is, it, this is not my e- issue. Like, have you seen it? It's not even a. Ho- I wouldn't even call it a horror film. No, it's issues. just a. <laughs> I remember turning up to Rita and Alton Towers, giving it a go, and I just saw Norris in the background. Going, That's my woman. <laughs> Corey <laughs> reference Corey, for you there. He's dead now. For all you Corey in real heads. life. No, no, not no. in real life. They, they've killed him off in the. In the, in the I Korea. watched the clip of it. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's fucking hell, we've gone from Carrie to Cory. This is incredible. <laughs> he, was set, he was set on a bench in a big overcoat. He's having a stroke. <laughs> now for the news. Oh, no, I love the news. Uh, <laughs> It's like having a fan in the pocket. I'll tell you what I was thinking, right? When I used to do a T-boy on the first radio um, station I did was like a United show on the BBC. Yeah. And they used to have, the budget was tight, right? They used to have a former uh, United player on who was a goalkeeper called Nicky Weaver. He played three minutes for United. This is my three minutes. Here's me thinking he was going to get us all a cup of tea. Nice one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fucking got it, are they? Um... (laughs) <laughs> Something that I saw on Twitter yesterday was that calling women birds is officially sexist, a judge has ruled. Oh, well, incredible. Fuck, that's a female judge. Um, Cameron. <laughs> it yeah. was Big Bird. To thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for coming to me about this. I'm uh, not happy. Well, what, what would you like to say to the judge? How's it any different to if women were calling fellas bees? Yeah. They don't do it, but the birds and the bees... That's all it is. But that's, that's sex. That's is. a sexual thing, and is you're that, equating is that women why we with call sex. Them birds? Yeah, because birds, birds and the bees. bees. Yeah. But oh. that's the thing. I think that's the argument. Oh. <laughs> because thought, that's a. Well, it's because they shit on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, lads. And it makes me lucky when they do. <laughs> <laughs> I think the issue is, is that that's a sexual term, and yeah. so you're looking at a woman as a sexual thing. You find birds sexual. Mr. Dex is sat here with Joe. Who, oh, yeah. We're What's so, up? We're, What's no, up? No, we're do, no, we're not doing it anymore, are we? Did see your finger. I'm the one sweating now. Last week, so. <laughs> yeah. um, Tell us I, about the time you wanked a pingy. No. <laughs> 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 New on this, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what, the one cameo from Samuel Jackson. <laughs> that ain't snow. <laughs> I've had I'd it love to see with that. his motherfucking Eskimos coming on my bird. <laughs> As he said in court yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you, know that, you know the bit where somebody jumps in front of a bullet? It's just him jumping in front of the Eskimos. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> 
knew. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, so, yeah. what would uh, now that Bird is gone, uh, what would you refer to women as, apart from the greater sex? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay. Them, there them, we them, go. Them. I'll ask them. 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 Yeah. Them. yeah. Birds. I'm so I'm so ingrained. I'm so used to doing it. Saying me bird. I, I'm not I sure. Me maud. I'm not sure. I, I, you know, I've ever heard someone refer to a woman as a bird, not to their face. face. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah, when yeah. when you know men you are talking in general. You say love instead. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what's convincing. Someone called someone darling once, and that was a bit. That was a bit. Bit much. But he was really? a bit, old, he was a bit older guy. Yeah. Jay's darling, and I thought, yeah. ooh, I thought that was a tad creepy. I say love. You're, you're a lover, every, aren't you? Everybody, yeah. 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 yeah Thank you, love. love. Yeah. You spread the love. <laughs> you know, in Greece, they had the tea birds. They're gone now. They're just the teas. The yeah. teas. <laughs> the teas. <laughs> <laughs> a bit better. You know. Wait, isn't the tea birds the guys like, as well? A bit like you in an Indian restaurant. The teas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the teas. <laughs> Get, they're coming over with the yogurt and go. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Next up, uh, something that Max was telling me about. This is incredible. Yeah. Um, so John Chalice died. He was from Only Fools and Horses. Oh, that wasn't incredible. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then and Max said, "Did you know that him and Ice T, the rapper, were good friends on Twitter?" Yeah, that's what you're gonna say? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know would that. have thought. Yeah. Really strange. Ice T from you know. Often getting confused with a member of the T-Birds as well. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute logistical nightmare for him. But yeah, you know, rapper. You and, know. and Boise. Yeah, and Boise, who would have thought? If it was, if it was uh, I've forgotten his name, Del Boy David. Yeah, Jason. Jason. There you yeah. go, yeah. If it was them, I'd be like, that's strange. Yeah, that's strange. But Boise of yeah, all people. really strange. Met, like, they didn't even meet on an episode of Celebrity Come Down With Me or Coach Trick. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made me, made me go, <laughs> okay. It's just, just a shame a that it happened now, because I would have loved to have seen Ice T in Only Fools and Horses. A bit more often, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, so true. <laughs> uh, I, I looked up Unlikely Friends and looked for a few articles on uh, on that. I've got to say, a lot of the things on the list were like Courtney Cox and Ed Sheeran. They... they they go out in LA. Yeah, yeah. they're in the same circles. Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston. That's not <laughs> likely. They're on the same TV together. show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the TV yeah. show. Yeah. Um, I found I did find some unlikely friendship groups. Nice. No, uh, a couple's. Um, Piers Morgan and Lucy Jones. Who's she? Well, she was on Love Island. Uh, she was a bit weird on there, anyway. Which one was that? Was she the surfer? Yeah. Well, oh. what's weird about this is oh. is Piers Morgan. Oh. I'm pretty sure for that series as well, every morning on uh, that new Good show morning. he used to do, it'd just be like, Love Island contestants are stupid. It's like, is there any fucking right. real news you could she, do? She is stupid for being friends with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> respect. Yeah. Uh, but the, the thing on, like, she posted an Instagram uh, post and the caption was, only one name in my phone that excites me. And he replied, mine, question mark. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. You're at least twice her age and it's public. People can yeah. see you being a fucking dweeb. Famously, yeah. though, identifies as a penguin. Yeah, that's true. So she might <laughs> yeah, have yeah. seen, you know, the penguin episode with Samuel L. Jackson and <laughs> who, thought, who oh, this, to be fair. this fucking guy. <laughs> Link down below. Um, <laughs> it's almost as good as that Jeremy Clarkson episode where he rides Brom around. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Brom. Yeah. Just as a side note. It's a great film. side note. Phil? Not, well, TV they made shows. A film. So not <laughs> Brom in Hollywood. <laughs> I just work for I work for Uber. <laughs> it's a miserable existence. If Brom goes <laughs> for the rent, if Brom goes slower than fifty miles per hour, he'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> Knackered the ball at the end of it, and then and then he stops for uh, for James Corden on one of his <laughs> Broadway shows. Come on, on. that's an amazing. That would be a oh, that would be incredible. Blows <laughs> that, yeah. It's when he reverses back and does it again. <laughs> Too far, bro. Next, a good one that uh, is weird. Lady Gaga and June Brown, who played Dot in EastEnders. Oh, wow. oh really? Yeah. Jeez. They were on Graham Norton together and, uh, you know, become great friends. Wow, that's yeah. so weird. Well oh, done, Graham. Well done, Graham. Yeah, bringing yeah. people together. It is weird when you see those Graham Norton, like, Jonathan Ross-style shows where you've yeah. got a really famous person and you've got someone who's like, I want someone yeah. Kevin Bridges. Really Kevin Bridges. And do you remember, oh, what's he called? John... John Krasinski. John Krasinski. Is he from The Office? Yeah. yeah. And he kind of like, it's the first time maybe he's ever heard someone that strong Scottish yeah. accent. He loved it though. Kevin he Bridges. Loved, yeah, Kevin just, Bridges. Just weird about that is uh, 
I saw the clip on YouTube of that yeah, thing. Yeah. And it was on Kevin Bridges' YouTube channel. Yeah. I don't think he runs it, but it was like Kevin Bridges as John Krasinski in Stitches. I think I saw that. And it's like, <laughs> they laugh a little bit, but I thought Kevin Bridges yeah. isn't, isn't writing. No, they cut out the bit stitches, where he beats him up. <laughs> he cuts out the bit where he beats him up and he had good <laughs> Just because he's Glaswegian, mate. <laughs> uh, this isn't really new. It's just a weird thing that I saw the other day and I wanted to speak about. Oh, you know the website Cameo where people do oh, yeah. celebrities yeah. doing voice messages? Well, I saw one that was put on Twitter and it was of James Buckley. Yeah, Jay from the in between. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was the most, oh. <laughs> most like miserable sort of oh. uh, your friend. Oh, friend. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh. And then uh, he's a real bus wanker. And I just think. How much is he charging as well? A lot. He's like, you don't need to do oh. that. If I, had, if I had a show like that, like the in between is. I'd made it. I would make it a rule that you can't then just say the catchphrases on cameo <laughs> and ruin the yeah, legacy ruin. of it. It's gone. Um, but yeah, just a bit, just a weird thing to watch and then go. Oh. Cause I love, That's I love so his, uh, sad. His stuff, That's yes. so miserable. Because he's trying to. I think he's trying to do like. Um, he's doing streaming. I think. Yeah, he does YouTube. Yeah, I think. I think Twitch. he must be fine. I think he's fine. I don't think he's getting as many. Act viewers as I don't think he's yeah. he's as big as he probably could have been. The he, richest ones, Neil. Funnily enough. He got He's paid actor, loads yeah. and loads for being in Soccer the Dad's around. Army film. <laughs> the Dad's Army film? He's in that? a Dad's Army film. I got paid loads for that. And now he's doing adverts for Dell computers or something. And you wouldn't even know it's him. He yeah. just like It's like the back of the head and it spins around. He's like, my computer opens like this. Yeah. What's, go, goes, what's, the, what's the point in doing that then for yeah. Dell? It's just a bit more cash, isn't it? I know. I, know, I understand get... why he did it. I mean, why would Dell do it? Because if like, you wouldn't recognise his voice. Mm. I think he's just That's a, a gift. Yeah. No, no, they turn around and he goes, Bush wanker! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played Neil in the Inventories, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the text scroll at the end. I was Neil from the Inventories. Remember that? <laughs> Is your dad a paedophile? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> That's a deleted scene. <laughs> just going for the hard drive of his dad. <laughs> <laughs> but with Dell, I can just delete it with one click. <laughs> oh no, I've sent it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lastly, last bit Ooh. of news. Oh, uh, this is from uh, <laughs> maybe not great friend because we slagged him off last week. Uh, Tom McManus, aka Robson Eric. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's telling me about uh, Pinfall Wrestling are doing a charity event. At the manker going down. To yes, it. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, or cool. the manker going down <laughs> on it to it. Um, oh. He's got the details for me, uh, and I think it's for a food bank, uh, food yeah. banks across Greater Manchester. Nice. Uh, the event is free of charge, however, it does require you to bring non-perishable food items instead of a ticket. Yeah, That's so, nice. you know, canned oh, foods, yeah, yeah. Uh, not black puddings, okay? Um, <laughs> 31st of October, 2pm, Salford Lifestyle and Gymnastics Centre. Uh, it's on Camp Street in Salford, and, and they're putting on a pro wrestling event to raise awareness of food yeah, poverty where I live, mate. and collect donations for food banks across Greater Manchester. I think there is a one pound ninety nine booking fee to reserve a spot. Uh, I was asked if I wanted to do a six man tag match. I said no. Really? You're not well, you taking. Want to be... <laughs> you're not going to take on Cole Bisto, are you? No, I'm <laughs> <can't be> unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for a little bit of headline news. Oh, you can tell me the Lucas. I'm quite surprised, to be honest. <laughs> Never fails at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is from Drumbeat News. Nice. Bride seen buying bread shortly after her wedding today. South Africa. I'm going to go with Egypt. India. Nigeria. Oh! When you said Drumbeat, I, I immediately thought of Nigeria. Wow. That's gutting. Um, great story here. An unidentified bride <laughs> was caught on camera still wearing her wedding gown and shopping for bread at a ShopRite mall in Akure Ondo State in Nigeria. Also pictured in the photo was her little bride, who obviously tagged along with her. I assume that means bridesmaid. Oh, right. The photos have gone viral and has seen a lot of comments and criticism, none of which... <laughs> I'm on this page. Um, Why would someone criticise her? Well, probably, I don't know. I literally don't bread? know. I don't know. I really How did you find yeah. that story then? So I told you in Odd News Africa because I'm trying to stay away from <laughs> branch out, Asia yeah. and America. <laughs> and uh, that was one of them. Um, so thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, more headline news next week. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> the bread wasn't as stale as that segment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was quick. That, that was pretty... <laughs> that was 
<laughs> oh, crumbs. <laughs> no bread bun. Just uh, take one at random. Do I have to remember it? No, you just read it. <laughs> Is having sex with a friend off limits for you? No. Yes. Really? Yes, Cameron. Take the fucking hint, okay? <laughs> You've been eyeing me up before we came in here. Just because we're not having sex doesn't mean we can't fuck. Have, have you ever had sex? With, have you ever had sex with a friend? Are you offering? No, no, I'm not offering. Yeah, not you look like you had. Then, is it? <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? I think it's yeah. It, it, have it, you had sex with a friend? No, I don't think so. Right. Because I don't know if you class them as friends before, but you, maybe someone you maybe have known before and. Hmm. Um, and then with, do you class them as a friend I guess you obviously they're your best friends you wouldn't invite them around for dinner I think you were friends first and then yeah I think that's that's a photo it is yeah yeah it's just a classic uh, if, if you've got no like. else on like it's not just like you know do your friend get a free pass, thing is the question no, is with shagging your mate well there you go Max in your opinion you said it's not off limits well I, I mean nothing's off limits you know we live in a world where you can do what you want be who you are mm, there are live limits. your own there's truth. some limits uh, just don't hurt people or do anything creepy. Or animals. <laughs> Cam, have you... <laughs> <laughs> what if Cam, have you, uh... have you ever heard of man's best friend? <laughs> 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 ah, yes, lad, there you go. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> we got there. You can't oh. have time to come back if I just laugh louder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, what about if some of your kinks get out? Oh. Why, does, why does that black lab now look like a Dalmatian? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh. <laughs> so It really depends on the people, I guess. That's so true. Yeah. What well, if you're friends with them? I, I think if you wanted to remain friends, it could risk it. Yeah. Could risk yeah, the friendship. Yeah, yeah. Depends how it all finishes off. If you just say it at the start, you <laughs> well, know, it's just off fancy a shag, yeah, have a shag, whatever, blah, 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 and then four out. Oh, it's Friday four night, there's now on TV. Bingo, four out goes wrong. You just go, oh, well, you know, I see yeah. other folk, you know. Mm. Yeah. No harm done. No skin off your nose. Job's a good one. Yeah. What about if then, you know, it could ups, upset the relationship if she if they, starts if they saying it again, stuff about yeah. you. Yeah, or, yeah, well, if she's not has got if a small willy. Who'd say that? <laughs> Are you really friends at that point? You know who you are, you gossip. <laughs> <laughs> With um, what was the question then? Sorry, have you it, got a small willy? No, not on a question. Oh, no, sorry, that wasn't the question. Come on, oh. could be. Oh. Do is that, you is that on the card? If they start gossiping about you and telling tall tales or short tales, as the case may be, <laughs> <laughs> then you're not really good friends, are you? Well, that's so, it. Yeah, if you're friends you and you do it, then if they start taking a piss out of you afterwards, then. I mean, you weren't friends in the first place. It's a yeah. litmus test. Mm. Yeah, Un unless, unless the sex was so awful. If you are good friends, would you would you want to have sex? Though I don't think you would. Yeah. If you're really good friends. Mm. Really? No. Really good friends. Yeah. Depends, no. on it? it really. Everyone's different. Well, the, we live in a world. Some of, of you lads have never played rugby, and it really shows. <laughs> 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 you want to rock down with your clothes off? Oh. <laughs> No, no, I never did. So even, and that's why I got kicked out of the team. Clear what's coming on. <laughs> that's uh, why I was forced to leave. <laughs> uh, okay, so on that, do what you want. Yeah, yeah. I'm don't... saying do what you want as what well. What's the yeah. question? Is having sex with a friend off limits for you? For me, like <laughs> I don't have many female friends, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'd rather keep it separate, yeah. But I'd like to know the person as well. Yeah, that's tricky. <laughs> well, sometimes you might just get pissed and then you wake up in the morning. Have you, you done that? Do you know who I am? Years and years ago, years ago now. They don't call me Frigid Lawson for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So exciting. Do the you... first time he's taken it from me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good friends. <laughs> Got a tiny penis, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a... you got a big ass. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk about birthday cake. Uh, no, I didn't get any famously. <laughs> Do you believe in gender roles? Are there jobs that are yeah. suited to women and jobs that are suited to men? Do you know what? Maybe, but I think we live in a time where you can just be like, "Who cares? Just do it." Yeah, yeah but what if you, if there is a job that's well, that's what I mean. Uh, men, what would that be? Uh, male dancer. Oh, that's that's true. Because if you go to a stripper, we're, we're not expanding on this point. Sorry, this is a shit yeah, yeah. point. If you go to a stripper, dancer. if you go to a stripper and say, "I want a male dancer," and they go, uh, "We got yeah, Bethany," though, that's then you'd be like, "All right, a human." I think people mean like 
you know, uh, a fire brigade. Fire brigade. You don't often so the way you have to have a lot of strength, maybe, yeah. and that you would worry. Oh, women typically have less strength than men. But they could build it up if there's if there's a set number of parameters for the job. You need to be able to like maybe bench this much, lift this much. Absolutely, and there if will you be can women do that it can on either, that. yeah, nearly the. This must be hard, more hard work. With um, my mum's job, where she does like laser hair removal. You say magician, sorry. I, I was just gonna, yeah, I, can't, I was just gonna say magicians. Could we do with more like female magicians? Couldn't there? Because well, like you got magician, you got magician. Yes, assistant. God, this is a hill I'm willing to die on. Is, more the, female the magi- magicians. The magician's please. always male. The magician's assistant is usually like. Do you know the one where you get the sword? You go in like the cupboard and they put yeah. swords in. Yeah. Never a male doing that. To be fair, I can't think of a female. Magician. Huh? There was yeah. De- Debbie McGee, was it? But she was, uh, she was the uh, assistant. assistant. Paul Daniels. That could be yeah. a just, magic. My Debbie. mum makes her disappear, so that's a bit like magic. Oh. Makes I've her got a very hairy back. I thought so you meant she... Debbie McGee. No, <laughs> my mum made Debbie McGee disappear. <laughs> 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 no, Debbie no. McGee. This should come dancing, Debbie McGee. <laughs> Did she? She's, no, she's she clinging on to the arm. Used to be a male dancer. I know, Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, yeah. So she, So she is a woman doing it, and she has to treat women who come in and need and have like intimate areas that need seeing to her removal whatever if a man was doing that job then they'd get significantly less business than a woman doing it because the typical base of clientele for the role is women they would just be more comfortable so mm. you get that you a woman would be more comfortable being seen to yeah. that with that happening yeah, than yeah, another yeah. woman. So if a man was doing it, it's obviously they can do it. So it's not a specifically gender role thing, but it wouldn't make much business. Oh, how right. much so would a back you cost? To, you have to ask. <laughs> Fucking I hell. It's, ex, it's expensive. Really? For the it back? Never, it never grows back. So it's what? like high end treatment. For the, for the back? For the back, if you've got a really hairy back, then yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Could, she, could she take it from the back and put it maybe on like your forehead or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that could be like, fucking, that could be useful. Oh, so arrogant, so narcissistic. <laughs> about, same as masseuses. Right, we went to Turkey, right? Yeah. We had a couple of friends and all three of us got a massage. Two of us got these um, Turkish women doing it and I yeah. got a really strong Turkish man <laughs> and he broke me. God, was it, oh, yeah. really tough. Like, is it like a Turkish spa? Have that, yeah, sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Like, and then they throw water on you and cleanse yeah. you. Yeah, wild a trip. Jetty working through your back hair before it could get started. After two hours of it's that, like the explorer from Jumanji, <laughs> <laughs> Fight, fighting off the yeah. natives. <laughs> two of those lawnmowers you can sit on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't move now. <laughs> Wait in Turkish. Uh, that's what we're in Turkey for. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, teeth. Uh, no, but I would. I would. If I was going to get a hair one, I'd probably go to Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, because but then you, I probably stay there for a bit whilst my hair grew. Because on the plane back, you saw a lot of people with like yeah. their hairs like ready to grow. Oh, it looks it looks so disgusting. It looks yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. They all had sweatbands on as well. I don't know why yeah. the sweatbands are needed. I don't know. It, but it, I don't know. Why it's it's probably, you were talking about this. I forgot what you said. You said you have to keep it on for two days. It's like a bandage. Did you get it done? Yeah. yeah. There was a woman who went to Turkey and had the teeth done and they filed them down. So they're like, you know, like, no yeah, teeth. Yeah. And then when she went to have the teeth put in the next day, the people had fucked up. <laughs> no! Oh, you'd be that, furious. So she had come home with teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not even your passport. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks in a picture of piranha fish. <laughs> uh, so, oh, gender roles for jobs? Not really, like you say, this yeah. day and age. It shouldn't uh, be, but realistically, there are. Uh, you get dinner men now. When I was at the school, you get dinner men. Probably used to have dinner ladies. It was all ladies when I went to school. Yeah. Now you get dinner men. Directors. That used to be all men, now there's women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Things are changing. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Mm hmm. Ooh, sexualising them. Ooh. 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 Well, You're getting kicked out of Odeon. <laughs> <laughs> now I ever go. <laughs> no. no what are some of the nicknames you've had before? Um, okay. God. Magic I, Fingers McGrath. That Jesus. was the one in year eight, because I was... In year eight? <laughs> okay. Because I was all right in net, but we obviously didn't, didn't know too much about fingering at the time. Poor Annette. Magic Fingers McGrath. Oh. <laughs> you just get piss off a lot. They turn up people it's not a go, nickname. Yeah, is it? people go piss off, and I go, hey, good on hey, that's what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to wait outside because no one had opened the front door of my house. <laughs> right, so you got piss off, magic fingers. <laughs> I got a uh, teddy bear. That yeah. was my one in high school. Yeah. 
You used to work at the Wacky Warehouse, didn't you? <laughs> In disguise. <laughs> I, was, I got a um, C Jimmy G. I've had that before. You No, you forced that upon me. C Jimmy G. <laughs> <laughs> you best start calling me this. <laughs> or else we're going to have shake. I guess that is a nickname, but it's more yeah. just a shortening of your name. Well, C- uh, C- Cam. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's something they call you. I don't, I don't really have Scouse any. people tend to call me Stee. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of nicknames which are... I know your nickname. They, I've given you two and you haven't taken to them. Oh, Beans. beans. Yeah, classic <laughs> Beans. 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 Jesse beans. Yeah. beans. No, this was, this was before. Oh, before Jay that's, that's, beans. that's big name. You bought me a Beans shirt. That was fun. Yeah, Chucky Beans. Yeah. <laughs> Did Girlfriend. you call Granddad? Girl- oh. Granddad as well. Yeah. 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 Granddad Beans. Granddad Beans. Yeah. <laughs> Granddad Beans. Can we start it up? Yeah, yeah, Granddad, like Granddad Beans. Beans. What do you need to ask permission, Cameron? <laughs> Yeah, he's a boss man. <laughs> boss man. Oh, boss man. Oh, that oh, boss man. That's boss man beans. Boss man beans. <laughs> boss man and beans yeah. is like a detective duo, isn't it? I'd boss watch it. Beans I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the look of this scene, beans. What do you think? <laughs> 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 of course, that's how the joke ends. They just close a fart in every episode. <laughs> if only we had hindsight. <laughs> oh, 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 food bombs this episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. <laughs> People used to call you uh, Bounty the Dog Hunter. <laughs> no, I'll change it. <laughs> I was always just generally called Big Joe, just because I'm big. BJ. <laughs> Fuck off! I'm having that one. <laughs> BJ. I'm copywriting BJ. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tom did say to call me Jake for about five weeks. After yeah, yeah. Her. A lot of people. Yeah. Every time I met him. Met so you had you had Big Joe, Big Joe, and li- honestly, McGrath, Interpol, surely that McGrath, uh, MC Graff, MC Graff. In, uh, <laughs> just Big Joe's always stuck. <laughs> yeah. Until um, recently, there was a, I, I did some work on a, a podcast with Ruby Play, and he was called Joe. He was bigger than me. Well, which which Joe was He's that? called Joe Marlowe. He works. Yeah, yeah. At, yeah. Big Joe and bigger Joe. So I got called Medium Joe for a couple of weeks. Yeah, oh, Medium Joe. I left. Was there a, was there a small days. Joe? Yeah. Uh, was there a small Joe? Small Joe. Hmm. Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah. He could be him on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I've just thought yeah. I have He's a few from definitely. my mum. Mac Attack, Cameroon. Mac Attack. Cam Cam. Cammy Wham. Cam Worker. Cam Work. Technically, it's all I'm now as well. He just even tries his nickname, really, isn't it? Yeah. Troy Z, Troy Z, that's a good one. <laughs> T Bone, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a lot of that. Um, no, yeah, I've not had many nicknames. Yeah, Stephen doesn't really rhyme with too much. You get no. even Stephen, yeah, Stephen, yeah, you get away with quite a lot. Pe- peeving, as in you, yeah, oh, I'm peeved off, you've peeved me off, yeah. you've, been, you've been peeving. Peeing, the, the pleasurer, Pe- got that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Peeing. Your mum's given us all nicknames. <laughs> Yes! Yeah, I was bigger, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Come flip my beans for a <laughs> 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 After um, what you did to Zoe the other baller? week, you could be called like Stee P. Like P, 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 he, Stee. P, he, Stee. Uh, P, he, Stee. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Oh, That's him. <laughs> <laughs> it's now Bye, time for Go. Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. This week, Stephen Lies has got a little twist in it. Oh. Because Joe McGrath yep. is going to tell us three stories. Mm-hmm. One is true. Is that correct? What is true, yeah. Okay. Could we have the, the name of the first story, please? Okay, just... right. We, we, we kind of touched upon this before. I once ate the world's hottest curry by accident. Okay, nice. Next yeah, one, second please. One. In 2019, I ended up on stage with Liam Gallagher at the Ritz. Okay, nice. In Manchester. And uh, the third one is, I once dislocated my shoulder whilst masturbating. Okay, thank you, Joe. So, interesting. I went right-handed before you all look at me. So, let's get that out of the way. Why well, something happened? Famously, I did my shoulder in ages ago, didn't I? Oh, yeah, so. you dirty bugger! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Um, okay, it was uh, after I met Liam Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me this fucking hot curry, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, what was the first one? Uh, I once ate the world's hottest curry by accident. Okay, world's me. hottest yeah right so we were doing a, a video for the mank and it was going against a, a place in Berry called the Kandoka and they say they've got their hottest curry 
but they were showing it off as like a this is their new thing on the menu so they made a hot curry and I was going to eat it against a guy in the back who's going to have an even hotter curry than me just to prove that you know my palate wasn't good enough so we're getting everything ready and I'm a bit nervous because I'm shit at eating hot food which is why I didn't go into it too much and when I um, sat down I accidentally sat down in front of the curry that I wasn't supposed to eat that the Indian guy was going to eat which was hotter I can smell bullshit yeah. a crucial part of the story though is Joe making an egregious error in judgement or mistake which when he walked in past character. you <laughs> 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 the issue I have though is that <laughs> i got something spicy for you for you sir <laughs> Surely the guy that he's up against would go, oh, that's my curry. Well, no, because no, I, I cheated. Him, no. I cheated at the start whilst everyone's getting ready. Before it kicked off, I had a little bit just to get me prepared for what was to come. So you're saying it's the world's hottest curry. Do you have, do you have Guinness World Records? He proof? says, so he made us the the fowl, and I was going to have that, but he made himself and what he called the world's hottest curry, which was the fowl with extra chilies in it. So uh, what was the recovery like for the The recovery was awful. How so many bites I, did you get into it before I had you to arrived? take 15 minutes out from actually filming the actual video before yeah. we get going. I had to say, listen, I, I had to admit what I did. When was this? Uh, this is about four or five weeks ago. Is this video out there? No, this video's not out yet. Oh, but it's going to come out. I think it's going to come out the five next weeks Tuesday. It's called ahead. Mad For It. It's a series called Mad For It. I'm what else have you done on this crazy series? Challenge. So I haven't done anything there, but the woman, called, the girl called Steph, I think you might have met Steph once, she's done Drunken Knitting, She's where there's a there's there's a place in Manchester where you just get pissed. And I feel like you drew the short straw with this. Yeah, I did. <laughs> there's also one where there's beekeeping on the town hall roof. So that's what. So in this, in this series is um, me just trying the world's hottest curry. And of course, they wouldn't know he'd had the spicy curry because he'd be sweating anyway. Classic <laughs> 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 Max, you want to do one? The uh, yeah. dislocated shoulder. So you dislocated your shoulder. Yeah. Doing, you know, magic fingers, McGrath. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? What? How? So, um, again, five weeks ago, maybe it was the same time we had the curry. God. Uh, I wouldn't say it was one where you know you lit some candles or whatever, but you know we're just going to get down to it. You were already um, hot under the collar, so. And I have a, I have a thing, a problem with my shoulder. Like uh, happened in rounders in year five. Mm. I won't say the whole shoulder dislocates, but part of it comes loose for a bit, for a period mm. of five to ten seconds. How furious were you? You know, no, I wasn't. See, here's here's the story. Okay, so as I go to <laughs> let the dog out, right for the picking. As I go to. Um, you know, grab something to clean up. I, it pops out. It pops out. My shoulder pops out. Yeah. And then I fall on the floor. <laughs> Just didn't want to be associated with you anymore. <laughs> I, 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 and I fall onto the floor with such gravitas because it's really, really painful. I don't think gravitas Shit. is the correct Bang, word there. Is it the floor, gravitas with floor. like gravitation? Yeah, yeah. But it po- pops out. It goes ah, and I fall on the floor. <laughs> and I end up. <laughs> Did I have fell? <laughs> <laughs> and I end up flat, falling on the floor, and uh, as you can imagine, I'm, I'm sort of belly belly down, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, I can't. Normally, I help my shoulder back into place, yeah. Because I'm belly down, I can't help my shoulder because I can't get to it. You fucking Mr. Clumsy from Mr. Ben. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> sit, <laughs> sitting down and ended up dislocating your shoulder and falling on the floor. <laughs> Deleted scene from Mr. Yeah. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was horrific. Uh, naturally, it just pops back into place. But at one point, I was contemplating I have a call in my Irish flatmate Daryl who was selling insurance uh, just down the hallway because he still lived there or I think it's a bit late for getting insurance mid July time <laughs> mid July you play um, you play badminton though you never mentioned your shoulder it's, it, it's a it's a thing it's a real big thing Happens never mention it again. you would have called Daryl even though you're lying there Covered well, in this is semen. what I think. So, so this is this is the this is the dilemma that went through my head. I'm I'm lying there, top off. No, which one's top, top off? off? No, pants off. Sorry, on the floor, head down. Fucking right. hunched over like Quasimodo. I've, I've, I've fallen onto <laughs> Quasimodo. <laughs> I've fallen onto a plastic cup as well. So there's water everywhere. I'm like that. And I've got a split decision to make. If this shoulder doesn't come, like the fingers that pop back Can in, you see, like seals on the beach, just, <laughs> yeah. just like that. And it was awful. <laughs> uh, so 
Yeah. Your last story, what was it? Uh, it was me ending up on stage by accident with Liam Gallagher at the Ritz. In what year? 2019. Okay. Yeah. So how did that happen? It was a gig put on by a rival radio station because I worked at an indie one in Manchester and Radio X put this on. And there was a bit in the backstage area that was just for those members of the station to watch Gallagher. And it was very close to the actual stage. Um, I went there to get some free booze. It was nice. I spoke to a lot of the different people there. Look at this. He's, he's, he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. Look at him. He's lying. lying. Keep looking to the right. Um, and then it, I, when I say end on stage, that is being dramatic. I entered a door that was literally how they would get to the side of the stage. i of this story. That's it. Yeah, I'm bored. I think it's between the first two. And if it's wrong, then I've really missed on this place. I still think it's the third one. Really? I think it's the third one. Who do you think? Sorry. With Liam Gallagher. Really? The Ritz. Liam Gallagher famously has a lot to do with Radio X. So to be named in that is some truth to the tale. <laughs> They're all very simple. What do you mean simple? I've, I believe he's got a bad shoulder maybe, but... I don't think it popped out whilst wanking. Although why it's would you Joe, bring that Mr. Up? Clumsy, Mr. Clumsy Joe? I don't think it. I don't. I wasn't convinced by the curry one. Yeah, okay. the wanking one is very weird. <laughs> it's very self-contained. He only did staff. this one on the last one, so maybe that's what he does when he's telling the truth. Oh, I don't want to give anything else away. But would you lie. would you want to tell a story about you falling off a bed you'd after you've done to, that? As long as no. it's untrue. Yeah, but this is Joe. Matter. Joe, I don't think Joe would want us to know. Okay, Mr. Flick the Bean over here. So I don't think it's. I don't think it's. What did you watch porn on? <laughs> I don't know. Your phone. And your phone? Yeah. Uh, you did that with your right hand. So you wank left-handed. No. And <laughs> and what was the website? I don't know what the website is. You flick between a couple. I didn't Ooh. know we were gonna get. You know. Yeah. Okay. I. Do you know what? I think it's. Let's go with. I'm gonna say Liam. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go yeah. with that. I'll go with that too. It was the shoulder one. Just Fuck me. No, seriously. Fuck me. I just thought it was a really seriously. funny story. Let me seriously. tell you this. Right, so I have a shoulder problem and, you know... You could have I said anything. Thought, I thought it was really funny. I wanted to tell you it. Mr. Fucking Clumsy. I thought you got Clumsy. a share roll on this podcast. Mr. Clumsy. You got a share roll on this podcast. Get rid podcast. of the L. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck um, I just thought, you know, you might as well be open on the Steve Tries podcast, you know. And I've never told anyone the story. Oh, you don't want it, it was open. awful. It was awful. What an, now what I'll awful get in here. <laughs> um, it was cra- yeah, I hated every minute of it you would have been like a big slug on the floor discovered in I mean. fucking ectoplasm just there's the look of <laughs> with it. your arm hanging I, out I have, oh, it, it just so, something happens where it just kind of like goes it pops out right but it's not like the full thing so the next thing you know the, the pain of it has forced me off the bed right. I've landed on top of a plastic cup and I've water's everywhere <laughs> and normally this hand helps me put this one back in but now I can't because I'm stuck right? like what the fuck am I going to do here God. Sorry about that. I just thought I'd be honest. I thought, no, the, the tool I ru- tool I ruled out during stories were actually lies. Trust yeah. my instincts in the future. Fucking beans. <laughs> I'm not your beans. I'm beans. I'm good boy beans. <laughs> I'm little beans. No, if he ever does this, he's lying, okay? If right, he's okay. done the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Wonder lies. <laughs> I am a bit too open, Stevie Wonder. I am a bit more PG. No, that was good. That was no, good. No, 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 I just thought no. I might as well share it, you know? It's just, yeah. I just can't believe the most outrageous one was true. Fair enough. This is, yeah. Well done, I had a lot of pooing stories. Do you know what? Do you know what? Last week we brought in a banana peel in for Stephen Light, so yeah. that was a nice little... Uh, we have a quick viewer's most embarrassing story. Cool. I always enjoy these. Um, oh, <laughs> we have any viewers left after yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Heavily edited, that's going to be. In my year four sports day, I was getting changed with my friend who forgot his shorts. And I thought because I wore my cool undies, I'd go out in them. As I walked out, my mum was the first person there and shouted at me in front of everyone. I then went back inside and cried. Also, the person who I gave my shorts to went home early and moved schools the next day. So I never got them back. <laughs> That's funny. That's uh, funny. Thank you, Dylan. Do you know what? We're, we're pressed for time, so I'm going to move on to a segment which is widely regarded as confusing. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Fucking hell, I hate this segment. This week, uh, I was actually asked to be the mascot at a <laughs> Christian youth. That sounds like you couldn't be so bothered I- in previous weeks and you could be asked to do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I 
thought this would be relaxing. Um, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so relaxing being surrounded by faith and religion uh, sort of takes me back to my sort of Christian years. In a sweatsuit, though. Uh, yeah, well, you know, that's fine. I can deal with that. Um, sweating in a steam room that like, relaxes people. Um, so I thought, yeah. You I'll know your it. stuff. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I know my sweaty stuff. <laughs> So yeah, th- there you go. That's that's basically what I did. Re, I'm fuming. This is beyond humiliation. Why did I sign up to be the dog mascot for the local Christian youth event? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Watch. No, I don't mean look. I mean look after my watch, idiot. Oh shit, it's time. Hey kids, only me. Well, I'm the rapping dog, and I'm here to say, if you don't follow Jesus, then stay out of my way. I'll hit and... Oh, God, please, someone help. Oh, my, I can hear someone coming. Did you send me one of your angels, God, to save me in this hour of need? Hello, my angel, and bless you. Hello! Oh, for fuck's sake. Looking uh, semi-sexy there, I like it. Oh, get off me. You're covered in sweat, Joe. Have you been holding the camera again? Is that a bit shit? Look, I just need to hit up a zen garden. I have to use yours. Right, that should be fun. Wow, what a sick crib. Big TV, wooden flooring. What's this? Your bedding's made from faux fur. Oh. It's just covered in fur. Lovely torch. Oh boy. Oh, by the way, Joe, listen to me carefully. Watch. Make sure nothing happens. Anyway, I'm off to the Zen garden. Ah, what a beautiful garden. Ooh, is that a water feature I can hear? Let's see where it is. Oh god, maybe it was the rain. Ooh. It's so hot and sticky. And what's that? It tastes of salt. Ugh. It's like a shit air up pod. Oh god, it, it's so bad. And it smells like. Oh god. When I said watch, the idiot. He didn't realise I was talking about my Rolex. Hello! No! But wow. What a classic mix-up, Joe. This could have happened to anyone. Some I'm confused. What I was very confused there? at the end. Yeah. So, uh, so some really. rewrites had to happen because uh, apparently you don't want to be, you know, called a dog fucker anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I had to rewrite it a little bit. That was the rewritten. That was the re- <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rewrites. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, the the mean, dog mascot outfit would have, you know, played in a lot more. Basically, I was going to have sex with you dressed as a dog. No, I was going to say watch, and then the rain would have happened whilst I was in the shower, and then I would have looked up and saw you peeking at me <laughs> over the... <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been funnier, but I, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I now right. I realise Yo, that. Max, you've, you've hurt yeah. his feelings anyway. Get out. Uh, fuck you, Joe. Sorry. Oh, How dare you? You're getting disciplined now. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to have to deal with this. Do you think I give away too much, then? Having, having not got, a, got any kind of degree in psychotherapy, um, I think... Boys, oh, boys, boys! Wow. What's going on it's here? Amazing. To quote a great character I once saw. Hey. Nah. <laughs> you OK? Hello, gents. Hello, lads. Hello, fellas. Have we caught you at a good time? Yeah, yeah a bit. Yeah, good yeah, time, yeah, 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 yeah. Myself and Percy are from the... International Radio Association. No. <laughs> Who might you be? <laughs> Might have heard of us. Uh, my name's Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy Mimer. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Mimer. No, I like, right. it, like it. Three names. You're... Jeremy, Jeremy <laughs> Mimer. <laughs> and Percy is is Percy. Yes. Just like like Rihanna. Yes, I'm very much like Rihanna. We're from the the Shornit IRA, and we are here <laughs> to we to tell you about a great opportunity. Oh, oh, sorry, there goes my cap. Yeah, yeah. No cap. So, so basically, we have a big opportunity for you. Oh yeah, girls. Um, yes, just well, for you boys. For one of you, yes. really. Uh, the BBC Radio One Breakfast Show. 
Unfortunately, the host, Greg James, has been cancelled. What for? We got bored of him. Yes. So we are we are hoping that one of you two, both got experience in radio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were hoping one of you two could be the next host. Joseph, um, yeah. your time in the radio. Yeah. Was it, uh, was it, you know, phenomenal? Oh, it was eventful. Right. Did lots of things. You did a breakfast show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played lots of breakfast songs. Like oh. what? What's a breakfast song? Uh, wake up, it's a beautiful morning. There we go. If the radio's on, they've already woken up. Bit cliche. True. It really is. Oh, wake me up before you right, go. Right, another song already about waking up. up. I, mean, I, I wake up at 6 p.m. You know you what? Wake up, if you wake up at 6 p.m., you've not got long until you, you do wake up again. I sleep for 10 minutes a day. <laughs> All right. So Very when, sick. When do you have your breakfast? <laughs> oh, the, when do I have my breakfast? At the allotted breakfast time? <laughs> you're supposed to be posh, aren't you, buzzy? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> this tie, it's choking we, me. We are from the IRA. We look good, we sound good. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. sir. We do look good, don't we, Graham? Mm, we Graham. do. It recently <laughs> has, Jeremy, Jeremy. It's her <laughs> dip <dip-dive. laughs> I mean, who's Graham Graham? Is he on his way? <laughs> <laughs> it's a name for a voice in my head. What does PM mean? Prime Minister. Oh, it's the Prime Minister of Radio. Thank you. Thank you, Percy. Yes, I'm the Queen. <laughs> is, this an aud- is this an audition? It's an interview. It's an audition for me. It's an interview, you moron. Twat. You twatty moron. <laughs> twatty not, moron. It's not going very well, is it? Not for you, sir. Sorry. 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 Off a Cameron. Maybe the hush, it. hush Com- your lips. Cameron. Cameron. That's Com- nice. Yep. Cumrag, Cam, Cumrag, Cameron, Cumrag. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, Wales as we know it. Yes. You know, Cumrag. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I often Wales? go across the border just. Cumrag to... is it? They call it Kimru. Uh, Kimru, that's it. Oh, I always oh. call it. Cumrag. I often just nip you, across the you border. You wipe your and... cum on a whale. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I thought it was a whale. <laughs> Turns out this boy just slipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's still in your hair. <laughs> What's left of it? <laughs> It's what's gluing it on. You know what? I'm not actually blonde. This has no. all come as well. Sorry? This has come in my hair. I'm actually a redhead. It's bloody shiny, huh? It's amazing how I was chosen to be Prime Minister. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a close call. There's only two of us in the IRA. Um, so do you two actually have the authority to oh, yes, choose so who yes. comes? We can boogie. Yes. And we do have some... Queries we'd like to put to you. Okay. Oh, okay. Joseph. Yes. We want something fresh. What could you bring to radio, Joseph? Uh, I can I can talk. You are a pissing moron. Oh. Cameron, mm-hmm. what would you bring to the station? Uh, and to breakfast. Yeah. Croissant. Cheeky smile and a full belly. You can't never have see the smile. Hungry. Yeah, you daft you feel bastard. It. You, if you're talking through a smile, the Go listener on. the listener can feel it. Say oh, if I'm talking okay, like this. If I'm talking like this, but then I'm talking like this. No, you've changed you your tone. Yeah, you've yes. changed your tone. You've but you naturally forced. change your tone and your inflection. I know. So I, I'm, 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 I'm teaching do you job stuff. Come Go on then. Go. Hi everyone. But it seems like we're on different wavelengths here, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, FM and AM. Ra- radio. Different button. wavelengths. Yes, I think that's what yeah. he was getting at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know what? You know oh, what? You deserve each it. other. Thank and, you. Can we do the evening show. You can't do fucking anything. Joke um. You can do the one AM slot on India FM. What's that about? <laughs> India. <laughs> Look, guys, three words describe yourself. Big booty party. Happy. Hungry. <laughs> oh, right. right, okay. Ah, okay. uh, happy again. <laughs> Like That's a happy four. sandwich. Happy That's sandwich. Four. You asked him to do one happy sandwich. thing, and he said Short count. three words. He said four and five. Happy, happy uh, would be in the middle if it was a sandwich. Happy, hungry, happy, oh, happy uh, sandwich. So you're, you're a hungry sandwich. <laughs> I'm a hungry sandwich. You're you're a hungry hungry sandwich. Happy as the bread. He said, he said fucking happy, hungry, happy, happy sandwich. <laughs> like a Big Mac. Can I say, you, you shouldn't be on the breakfast show, Joseph. You shouldn't be out during daytime hours. You should be locked up in a cell. <laughs> the only thing you should be on is the electric chair. You fucking reprobate. <laughs> oh, that's not nice, is it? No. Will I do a show from the electric chair? Absolutely. Sure. It would be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good uh... It's not. Ah! <laughs> You've just been glassed. <laughs> uh... And that is a joke, and we can end on that in hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Bye. DPM. Happy, hungry, fucking happy, happy sandwich. Were you wearing that before? Yeah. Oh. Max. 
Hello. Um, I think I need to apologise to Joe. Joe, I'm so sorry for what I did. Uh, hopefully we can move past this uh, little speed bump yeah. in our friendship. Um, and, you know, hopefully in the future you can uh, learn to take a fucking joke. <laughs> what about we have a new segment called Joe's Woes? Whoa. 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 It's Joe. Woes. It's me. Joe's Woes. Woes. Joe's Woes. Gotta get those Joe's Woes. He's okay. woeful. Well, win. Yeah. Woeful. Um, <laughs> I'm upset for many reasons. Um, cashew nuts are expensive, aren't they? That's a... <laughs> it's like going to an open mic night. Right. <laughs> um, Have we got any cards we can I've just fought, I've fought, I fought before when no, I was getting I'll a coffee. A for that, actually. Why do coffee you... people bang the coffee before they pour it in? The coffee? They bang the, the cup? They bang the coffee and the milk, don't they, before they pour it in? Yeah, so, so there's... When you steam uh, coffee... Uh, sorry, when you steam milk... A lot of bubbles, so you've got to bang the uh, jug to get rid of the bubbles. Wow. Um, Thank you, Matt. Woes. I find it hard to spell. It's one of my woes. It's your fucking problem, not mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't go around going, oh, it's sad Joe can't fucking spell. He means because he's trying to be a magician still. And he can't <laughs> be, <laughs> be the assistant. Um, Just imagine an English teacher like you, <laughs> I'm woeful that we could never find out who invented the clock. Why? Because it's just a, it's just a great invention. Yeah. And I, well, was, I often thought, like, when they invented the clock, how did they know what time they put it at? Sort of makes your life miserable, yeah, though, doesn't true. it? Um, no, should I say I find it hard to spell? And you I did, think, yeah. I think, I don't know what, why this one said, I could beat a crocodile in a fight, but I have no way to prove it. I don't think you could beat a crocodile in a I fight. I could beat a crocodile in a fight. Easy Me versus it. a crocodile, I could beat it. No, you can't. I probably could. Joe, That's you, one of my woes, is it? Joe, you... Your shoulder came out having a wank. You're not beating a no, crocodile no. in a it fight. It didn't quite whilst having the wank came out post wank. You mean beating Becky. a crocodile off? <laughs> yeah. Your crocodile chewed me halfway up. <laughs> what have I ever done to you, Max? Nothing. I, I'm so sorry. It, you know, it's, I'm used to having some some people on the podcast that have a go at me. Uh, I'm upset that when I eat naughty food, I put on weight. Naughty food? Not like, you know, cheese. Like little, little chocolate penises. Mm. Oh, they're the dog's bollocks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like double deckers. <laughs> like, oh, what a weird choice. <laughs> like what a happy boost. House. My, I love a boost. That's my favourite chocolate bar. Nice, a bit weird, it? That, isn't well, it? It's just upsetting that it's, you know. My girlfriend's favourite chocolate bar. Is boost. it? Yeah. Wow. I like well, happy, hungry, is... happy, happy sandwiches. <laughs> They're my favourite. Uh, That's my woes. But I could be a crocodile, in fact. No, you can't. Well, you're going to have to prove it now. Want to Talk get a good crocodile. game. Well, I tell you what, we'll fly a crocodile to Turkey to get its teeth uh, sawed down, <laughs> and then we'll see if you can fight it. I'll chuck it in a tub of gravy, and I don't give it half a prayer. <laughs> Superpower, cold bisto. Give him one of them. Smack. Bisto. It's Steve bisto. Irwin's fucking rolling in his grave, mate. <laughs> yeah. Keep your applause going for Obscene Green. Obscene, Obscene Green. Green. Him. Obscene Green. What do you call it? Obscene green. I've been thinking that while it's green, it's hardly obscene enough. And I think we could really ruin history and the obscenity of it by turning it into a sort of quiz. So oh, I'm going to read no. you something. For example, 480 BC, the Battle of Salamis, the Greek fleet under... My dad's legs. Your dad's legs. The Greek <laughs> fleet under your dad's legs. <laughs> Oh, fleet. I thought you said feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Silly goose. Yeah. Uh, Greek fleet under... Um, the, the weather. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, not well. Hey. Oh, yeah. Go on, a Joe. muppet. A muppet. You're a fucking muppet. <laughs> a the Greek muppet. fleet under... You know what? what a, like Kermit the Muppet. As sad as this is, it's pro- pro- the, we've got a fight, a straight shootout between the weather and his dad's legs. <laughs> Hold on, a muppet could win. <laughs> Why are you so confused? I thought it was... A whole fleet of fucking ships (laughs) by one fella's fucking legs. Right, okay. The Muppet. 1829. Did I win the Muppet? (laughs) I got very confused. The first practical public what in the world is opened in Blackpool? Turkish hairdressers. First practical public electric... 
Oh. Roller coaster uh, Turkish hairdressers. Turkish hairdressers. Uh, lamp. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. What's the old fucking sound of the lamp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we, you know what? Yeah, I like that. This is only what that could be the start of the Blackpool lights, couldn't it? So you yes. haven't got it. You haven't got no points. It was a yeah. tram. Fuck it was yeah. a tram. Oh. So there you go. Who Similar. was expelled from Oops. school in 1976? Tom Cooney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go, Tom no, I well. mean, that's just... Don't take my answer. Probably the God. best answer. Yeah, it's not much I can say that would be that. You know, Ooh. it actually was. It was Boy George. Oh, oh. Boy George expelled for... You don't need guess. You just give a thingy. All right, last one. Hope you're all over who the won, Who won that point? I did. No, uh, no you didn't. I'll give it in for Tom Cooney. Oh, this yeah. all we're, comes we're down Wait, to three the... Three points for this one. Hey, one point. Oh, yeah, okay. Three points, okay. 2020... Scientists confirm the existence of three new what on Mars? Dun, 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 dun. Three new legs. <laughs> three new. <laughs> three new. Oh no, pubes. <laughs> As opposed to the old ones that have been <laughs> knocking <laughs> <about>. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Take it so long, man. Oh god. <laughs> this this to win. Fridges. It's fridges. funny. It's funny. Be, you'd be that's... stunned if you saw a free fridge. Of all fridges. the fucking words he's gone for, he's gone for fridges, and he said it with a smile on his face, like this is it. <laughs> you'd, if you'd, you'd, be, you'd, you'd be stunned if you saw three fridges. Fuck me. I saw some legs. Bro. Legs. Fridges. Uh, it's mm -hmm. it's got to be fridges. Oh. It's got to be fridges. Congratulations, Joe. Fridges. Well, the me. actual answer was uh, underground lakes. What? How dare you? Three new underground lakes on Mars. Incredible. Wow. Crazy. Uh, but water, like water lakes. Yeah, yeah. We don't oh, really shit. have Crazy. time for put it to the max. Um, what? So, heading on to the final question. Yeah. We may have touched on this before, but uh, Joe wasn't there to answer. Um, if you could live in any TV world, what would it be and why? Great question. Oh. I thought about this the other day. Oh, God. Oh, I like him. TV world. Remember, there's a microphone there, Joe. Crazy um, Beaker. I'm gonna try and use that. <laughs> um, Can it be what? a cartoon? Yeah, yeah. What, why would it be no, Crazy Beaker? Oh. <laughs> just because it's exactly the same as ours, but uh, often cares better. I don't know. No, but you'd be in that. You'd be living in the dumping ground, sort of thing. Oh, so you're living in the so not just the yeah, world, yeah. like also the story yeah. as well. Oh, right. But my first thought was was Peaky Blinders. Cause yeah. yeah. So that's most things, and then you think about it, it's. Uh, You'd just be poor, yeah. wouldn't you? Rather just be in the Bake Off, yeah. see loads of pastries and oh, breads. Yeah. Might go to Simpsons. Shag Hollywood. <laughs> Simpsons, Spinning Fields is always... Oh, spring, not Spinning Fields, that's it. <laughs> Springfield is always... Yeah, spinning Fields! <laughs> We're Spinning Fields! <laughs> I'm picturing Joe sat on side one of the fucking stops at Spinning Fields going, I am Madge! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joe! <laughs> I didn't Homer, know. Homer! <laughs> Where's a <your> poo? <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> By your ankle, you fucking mess. It's <laughs> cute. I'd like to try Please a dog's Please come again. <laughs> uh, uh, but you're wrong last time you did. <laughs> I'd like to try a duff beer. Yeah? You can try a duff beer. They've made it. <sighs> Ruining my You can answer. order it. Yeah, I'm saying in real life, you can order some duff beer. Joe's come up with some great answers today. Remember Joy fridge? <laughs> Fridges, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Line of Duty. Yeah. Be... Oh no, because that's corruption. That's lot, that, yeah, it? too much stress. You don't get to enjoy your weekends. That's the thing. You you look at it and you're like, for 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 a bit, for like a couple a week yeah. even, it'd be fun. Mm. If you're stuck in there, <sighs> line of duty, your whole life would be mm. fucking grim. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's not a film. It's a TV show. Is it? What's that? What's that one? Uh, is it the Queen's Nose? Yeah. Well, you've got the, the Ooh, coin. Good, um. and you can you just wish for things. Coin. Yeah. yeah. And it's oh. held by a couple of kids. I could kill them, steal the coin. Doctor Who. Right, so you're going to jail pretty quickly. I wish I wasn't in jail. <laughs> Too late. I wish murdering kids wasn't a law. <laughs> yeah, but then... <laughs> do you, do you remember sorted. that show? It always goes to the extreme of that. Yeah. So oh, is like, it like a rabbit's foot where, like, whatever you wish yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, it does it, but in, like, an awful like this, way. Yeah, I yeah. remember one episode, the girl said, uh, I wish for some spaghetti. It was something like that. Yeah. And then they were on a boat, and then the boat just overflowed with spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay. It's not what you want. No, not at all. Like Pokemon, there you go. I'd, oh, I'd pick Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, that's exactly Digimon. what I thought. Digimon. That was exactly what I thought. Digimon. Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What a desperate attempt to be different. <laughs> no, I like Digimon more. <sighs> Fair. We did have cool. They had a good, uh, good uh, movie and like got into that pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Oh Go no, go. I know Brum. No, oh, of course. Brum, yeah. Travel the same Brum. Top Gear. <laughs> yeah, but then you'd have to replace one of them. Oh, I'd be sure. But, I'd be the Stig. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, the new lap times now five minutes seventy. <laughs> oh, it's seventy. Oh. <laughs> Fucking five minutes seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Although time works differently in the Top Gear universe. <laughs> oh. I think the worst one would be Glee. Oh, be constantly mad, singing. Yeah. Just talk to me. Yeah. Although Scrubs I, would be horrible because you'd just be in hospital all the time. Yeah. yeah. Game of Thrones would be bad. You just got loads of scrapping. Yeah. yeah Master great. Chef. <laughs> so with that, plenty, plenty of fridges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love fridges. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fucking Mars, this? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so what, so what like show is he going with? Because we've had I'm Arrow, have Simpsons, Pokemon, I Pokemon, Simpsons, Simpsons, Bernard's Watch. That's what I'm going to go with. Similar to Queen's Nose, I'm going to take the watch off Bernard. Kill Bernard. You got a fancy watch? Yeah. Yeah. Now just keep stopping time and turning the police around. So they can't get me. Yeah, not like a wrist watch. It's a watch, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a bit, it's a bit of a faff, isn't it? You can stop time. Still a bit of a faff. No, I'm gonna go I'd for. Struggle I'm to gonna go for naked up. attraction. Oh um, yeah. I just uh, <laughs> just trapped in the box. Or <laughs> just every time I get an erection, yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh wait, no, I can't pause time. I've confused Bernard's watch with <laughs> naked attraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. Bernard's attraction. <laughs> Bernard's attraction. <laughs> Bernard's crotch. There, there you go. go. That's what a rush. Well done. What was that? I'm trying to lick it. What a rush. Thank you for watching the uh, Stephen Trice podcast. I've been joined by Cameron Green. Ta-da. And Joe McGraw. How are we doing, Mike Smith? Yeah, it's me, Max guys. Me. Yeah, you'll probably forget me, though. It's about the furniture now. Yeah. <laughs> and Joe McGraw. Like big seat. I feel like this podcast started well for me. <laughs> Who's ever since Stephen lies, it's just yeah. gone on. Oh, I, I, I just thought it'd be funny. Bye.